Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 11th of January 2023. Thanks for joining me. I want to use the Celestial Tarot today. So I'll show you these cards before I use them. But you'll probably be quite familiar with this deck. I use it a lot. Okay, so let me shuffle these a few times and then choose three to see what this day is all about. I hope you're having a great week so far. And let's see what Wednesday has in store here. Right, so the first card is Pluto, Judgment. Ara, the Eight of Wands. And Aries, the Emperor. Oh, this is really interesting. I'm getting like a, a hidden message here. I'm getting that you are contemplating big changes in your life. You've really given it a lot of thought. And you know, the last couple of weeks have been really conducive to that, especially with um, Mars, the planet of drive and movement kind of being in retrograde since the 30th of October. So you, you may have all of these ideas. And today you get some information that you just want to jump on. You feel like, oh my God, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for. This is perfect. I'm going to not check all the details. I'm just going to go with it and really run with it. And the message I'm getting is be careful with that kind of thing. It seems too good to be true. And to me, it feels like a trap. So if something just suddenly appears when you've been working towards it for, you know, weeks or months or years, and then suddenly it's just handed to you on a silver platter, then question it really, uh, particularly before you commit yourself or invest yourself or really kind of sign up for anything, because the emperor doesn't do things by half, by halves. Like when he decides to do something, he goes for it. We've got all this Aries, this fire, and I just get that... Mm, Something's a little off with this. Okay, so let's look at each card first. So Pluto is the um, planet of transformation and change in astrology. It's um, the phoenix rising from the ashes. And here it's Hades, the king of the underworld. We've got Scorpio there. Um, water. We've got this angel singing. Okay, so... Um, yeah, first of all, the, the judgment card with the angel, it's kind of like your inner voice calling you to wake up and to be your true self, to live life as you want it to be. And Pluto is about death and rebirth. So it's about shifting into a different version of you. And that's a very internal process that, I mean, if you have that going on, no one else is going to be able to tell unless you're very articulate and you explain it to them. So... I don't think that explaining this or um, immediately being focused on external things is the way forward today. I think this is the real opportunity of the day where you can continue to kind of say, okay, what is it that I want to look at in future? What do I want to change and how can I plan that? That's what's going to offer you a lot of insights and understanding on this day. And this is where I think it goes off the rails a little bit. I think the eight of ones is news coming into your life, right? And it's in this, the suit of ones, which is fire. And fire, fire has to do with passion and life purpose and things that you're really motivated about. So it's built into the element that you're going to be impulsive. And if news comes in like this, it's immediately going to kick off something in you that will prompt you into action. We've got Mars there, the planet of drive and motivation and strength and ambition. And then Sagittarius, which is literally a bow, an arrow, well, an arrow flying towards a particular goal. So there's nothing calm or subtle or undecided about that. So if you do get some news, whether it's the best news of your life or um, something you really didn't want to hear, uh, fact check it first before you do anything. That's what my gut says, because usually when we get a major opportunity, either in a natal chart or in a card reading, the opportunity here being amazing personal insights and waking up to your true purpose, your vocation, then on the flip side of that, we get a distraction or we get something that's a challenge. And I think that on this day, what's going to be working against you as such 
is something, some noise from your life coming in and that really touching a nerve within you and immediately making that your top priority and filling your time and your day with that instead of this kind of contemplation and peace and quiet. I mean, it doesn't have to be peace and quiet. It's just time for yourself and time to kind of let things stew a little bit longer, you know? Finally, we've got the Emperor. This is the fourth card in the Major Arcana. So this is very much about authority and an inflated sense of ego is what I'm getting, particularly on this day. I'm not saying the Emperor is always like that because we need the Emperor. He's authoritative, he's decisive, he's passionate, he's a good ruler, he, he's freedom-loving and he's, you know, goal-oriented, all these great things. But on this day, I just think that there may be a sense of I'm hearing something that I don't particularly like. Rather than dealing with it, I'm going to, first of all, go into some narrative about why is this only happening to me and how fair. And this narrative comes in that just complicates the process even further and makes it more difficult. And I think that could be why it touches a nerve. It's like, how could this happen to me? Don't you know I'm the king of the world? You know, that kind of attitude. It's not helpful. So um, in the regular sense, the, the emperor will make you very decisive and he'll also make it very difficult for you to hold back if you think you're right. So that's something to be aware of. I think that certainty is more effective when you apply it to yourself and you try and understand something and I, I don't want to be vague about that. Like, if you're trying to figure out what to do with your working life, you know, you've just, you're 35, you've just ended a job that you don't like, you have no idea what you want to do next, and you're trying, trying, trying to, like, get an answer, and it's just not coming, it can be really frustrating. But if you use this strength of the emperor on that kind of inner process, the message I'm getting is that you'll unearth something valuable from within, right? You'll, that'll allow you then to transform your life in a real world sense. So I think all this like focus and energy and drive and power is best when it's turned inward. And if you have the, um, gut, the, the immediate reaction after hearing something or being confronted by something, that's not the, I don't know why I can't say it, like, that's not the best use of your energy to huff yourself up, up about something that really is meaningless in the bigger picture, and that just creates a lot of noise and distracts you from the real, like, thing that ought to be revealed on this day. Yeah. So I'm getting that staying out of the ego is important. He's got some symbols here. So he's got the, um, the falcon or the eagle here, and that's about his message having a huge influence on loads of people, the whole empire, um, and it also represents freedom. Then we've got the Aries ram here, so he's conquered himself as such. Mars, drive, ambition, all this fire, the red uh, row. This is really someone who doesn't stop to think. He jumps right in. But, well, I suppose I'm not giving him enough credit because he wouldn't be emperor and in such a great position of power if he was impulsive all the time. But that's just the message I'm getting from this today. So if you ha have to deal with that anyway in yourself, then just be aware of it on this day. I think it's very easy to kind of trigger something off and that could just make the whole day go off in, a, in an unwanted direction, which isn't that helpful or productive. Number wise, we've got 20 and eight is 28 and four is 32. Three and two is five and five is freedom in numerology. So it's the freedom to unearth something really valuable and meaningful in yourself. I don't want to um, overstate this, but you know, those moments in your life that change everything, like, I don't want to live here anymore. Like, it's just a, it's three seconds and it's a truth that's revealed and then you do something about it and you have a whole different experience. It's, they're the most amazing moments to have in life. So that's really the potential here. If you can manage not to get angry and into like a back and forth, that's pointless. So freedom from conflict by looking within. 
And freedom from conflict with the self by finally having the understanding, aha, this is it, I found it, hooray. Okay, so um, I hope that gives you an idea of what Wednesday the 11th will be like. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. I use astrology, the tarot, and numerology in my personal readings. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.